The First Sorrow of the Blessed Virgin Mary The Presentation in the Temple Sorrow as sharp as a sword shall pierce Mary's heart because of her child. Mary is in the temple, having come with Joseph to present the child to God. They meet Simeon, the holy man, and Anna, the prophetess. Simeon takes the baby in his arms, saying he will now die in peace because he has seen Christ. Then he foretells the sorrow to come. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I grieve for you, O Mary most sorrowful, in the affliction of your tender heart, at the prophecy of the holy and aged Simeon. Dear Mother, by your heart so afflicted, obtain for me the virtue of humility and the gift of the holy fear of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Second Sorrow of the Blessed Virgin Mary The Flight into Egypt Soon the sword of sorrow strikes. Herod the king seeks to kill the child. Warned in sleep by an angel, Joseph takes Jesus and his mother Mary, setting out for Egypt, where they lived in obscurity and poverty until it was safe to return to Nazareth. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I grieve for you, O Mary, most sorrowful, in the anguish of your most affectionate heart during the flight into Egypt and your sojourn there. Dear Mother, by your heart so troubled, obtain for me the virtue of generosity, especially toward the poor, and the gift of piety. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Third Sorrow of the Blessed Virgin Mary The Loss of Jesus for Three Days When Jesus is twelve, he is taken to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover. On the return journey, Joseph and Mary find at the end of the first day that Jesus is not with them. Racked with anxiety, they search for him. Nobody in the streets, not even the beggars, can tell him where he is. Not till the third day do they find him in the temple. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I grieve for you, O Mary, most sorrowful, in those anxieties which tried your troubled heart at the loss of your dear Jesus. Dear Mother, by your heart so full of anguish, obtain from me the virtue of chastity and the gift of knowledge. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Fourth Sorrow of the Blessed Virgin Mary The Way to Calvary Mary has known fear and sorrow, but none so great as seeing her beloved son stumbling under the weight of the cross. She hears the jeering shouts from the crowd and has no power to help him. Pity and love are in her eyes as she gazes at his blood-stained face. 
To many around her, he is no better than a criminal, and her heart is breaking as she follows him to Calvary. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I grieve for you, O Mary most sorrowful, in the consternation of your heart at meeting Jesus as he carried his cross. Dear Mother, by your heart so troubled, obtain for me the virtue of patience and the gift of fortitude. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Fifth Sorrow of the Blessed Virgin Mary The Crucifixion With John, Mary stands at the foot of the cross. A sword shall pierce thy soul, Simeon had told her. Truly her heart is pierced with sorrow. Her beloved son is dying and she shares in his suffering. She does not ask God to take away this agony. She is his mother, so close to him that his pain is hers too. And now he speaks from the cross. Woman, behold thy son. Jesus gives his mother to John and to us. For all eternity, she is our mother. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I grieve for you, O Mary most sorrowful, in the martyrdom which your generous heart endured in standing near Jesus in his agony. Dear Mother, by your afflicted heart, obtain for me the virtue of temperance and the gift of counsel. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Sixth Sorrow of the Blessed Virgin Mary The Descent from the Cross It is over. Dark clouds have appeared in the sky and upon the world. Jesus is dead. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus take down the body from the cross, and Mary receives it in her arms. She is filled with a sadness that no human heart has known. This is her son. Once she had cradled him in her arms, listened to his voice, watched him working at the carpenter's bench. Now he is dead. She does not weep, her grief is too great for tears. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I grieve for you, O Mary, most sorrowful, in the wounding of your compassionate heart, when the side of Jesus was struck by the lance before his body was removed from the cross. Dear Mother, by your heart thus transfixed, obtain for me the virtue of fraternal charity and the gift of understanding. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Seventh Sorrow of the Blessed Virgin Mary The Burial of Jesus Hastily, the body is wrapped in a clean linen cloth. Nicodemus has brought myrrh and aloes, and the body is bound in the shroud with them, 
Nearby is a new tomb belonging to Joseph of Arimathea, and there they lay Jesus. Mary and John and the holy women follow them, and watch as the great stone to the sepulchre is rolled. It is the end. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I grieve for you, O Mary most sorrowful, for the pangs that wrenched your loving heart at the burial of Jesus. Dear Mother, by your heart sunk in the bitterness of desolation, Obtain for me the virtue of diligence and the gift of wisdom. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O afflicted Virgin, O soul great in virtues as in sorrows, both the one and the other spring from that great fire burning in thy heart for God, the only love of thy heart. Mary, have pity on me, who has not loved God, and who has so greatly offended him. Thy sorrows, it is true, assure me of pardon, but that is not sufficient. I wish to love God. Who could obtain for me that grace if not thee, who are the mother of holy love? O Mary, Thou consolest everyone. Favor me also with thy consolations. Amen. <laughs>